Yes, your grades is a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to satisfy the needs of every petitioner. Sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intentions, and sometimes life will get in the way. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each week, it's good enough. Yes, your grades. It is time, Your Grace. I had better put on the crown. These swords look quite sharp, but they're about a thousand years old. Shield with our kingdom's emblem. It was forged by a famous blacksmith from Grivno. Crown of the King of Davern. Getting a bit rusty. A deserter. Found one of ours hiding in his shed. Shed? Oh, to do this? So big. There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands able to hold a sword, the Grace. There's no place for cowards under my banner. Anyone who refuses to stand for Davern will be met with justice. It's shame. Did what you had to, your grace. Over here, your grace. How bad is it, General? Our men are scared. It's the middle of the night and yet it's so bright as if Sparrow himself walked our lands. Thin walls won't last long and we lack any solid defense measures. Don't have enough men. Once they get in, we have nothing we can throw their way. Can you hear the chanting? They're getting ready. We better get started. I have gathered archers from all the other walls. They are awaiting you at the wall, your grace. There's still time to put up white flags.
Sons of Dover. <laughs> My brothers, we stood together through the worst of times. We have proved our strength in many battles. And today, we will prove it again. My bravest man, I bid you to fight for all you hold dear. For Davern. Da. One year earlier. Three. Boy. Two. Boy. One. Wah. Okay, here I come. Wah. This rose is like this place smell amazing. Very calming. I wonder how girls like to spend time here. Zulia, you found me. Well done, father. Come on now, Lorzulia. It's not often that we can do this. I told you I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? Lorzulia, there's no way to speak to your father. Zulia is stick in the mud. Shut it, Asalia. He can see you from miles away. Just leave me be. Oh, you know I'm not playing with you, darling. The sun finally came out. Let me enjoy it. Really, I used to love to sit here and knit. Now she gets more peace in our bedchamber. Got you. Shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She always has to ruin everything. She's so proud, she couldn't even find a place to hide. Wasn't even trying to hide. I don't want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Oh, wait. You can't write. Of course I can, you nitwit. Cut it out, both of you. Rosulia is such a dumpling. Just let me enjoy the sun, Eric. Sit down. And here's the little one. No! I was doing so well. You must have cheated. Or, or peed. I demand another trial of, of the game. How official. Ha, <laughs> maybe next time, Sedani. Forgive me, your grace. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will soon arrive. All right, enough games. The throne awaits. Reno, week one. Petitioners will start queuing in a moment, Your Grace. Really need to shorten the visiting hours. Lorsulia, the oldest of Eric's daughters. Lorsulia is smart, polite, and learns quickly from her mistakes. She's 13. Salia, Eric's middle daughter. Salia is adventurous and playful. It doesn't care what others think about her. Sedani, Eric's youngest daughter. She observes his sisters and learns quickly, often mimicking her actions. Aurelia, the queen of Davern, Eric's wife and mother of their three daughters. She's always happy to advise the king on important matters. Oh, 
Bye bye. The river brings a lot of wildlife to the area. Dubai. I enjoy the sounds of birds chirping away each morning. Can you go and speak to Lasulia, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she just won't respond. Don't know what's got into her recently. Maybe she will open up a bit more to you. She's probably wandering about the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Dungeon guard. Your grace. I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed, as well as some walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix those things before they get worse. Otherwise, we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, your advisors makes a note about the encounter in your archives. You can see all the entries by clicking the archives. Okay. Flood damages. The recent rainy weather damaged our pantry roof and dungeon. We should repair the damages when possible. How can I be of service, your grace? Tell me about the king. What would you like to know about your grace? Resources. We have to control four resources to keep our kingdom running smoothly. Gold, supplies, army and contentment. We need to distribute gold and supplies to our petitioners. If they are happy, their contentment will grow. A strong kingdom needs a big army. To gain more soldiers for our army, we will need to make alliances with neighboring lords and kings. We can gain resources through taxes, as well as from the alliances we make with lords. The villages in our domain pay taxes. Happy people will pay the taxes gladly, while the resentful will do what they can to get around them resulting in less income for us. This is why we need to make sure people's contentment is high, in order to keep a good gold flow. Peasants, merchants, knights, foreigners, lords even. They all have problems and they will seek help from the king. We can use our resources or agents to help those in need. Beware though, some might come with malicious intentions, so you should carefully consider it. Who is truly in need, your grace? Let's change the subject, <laughs> of course. How can I be of a service? Okay, that's all for now. Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congratulations! The problem is, don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughters in law think of our family? We want to hire a band, buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We only need five gold and five supplies. Fine, take five gold and five supplies. Can't have a marriage without the music and something to kill the thirst. Oh yes, the thirst the worst. We will show these peasants what a real feast looks like. <laughs> peasant. Your grace, I come here representing my village. I want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. Could really use a new place to rest after a long day of work. Take this gold. Bye. Make it the best in the round. Oh, we surely will. Thank you, Your Grace. Peasant asked for gold to build a new inn for the village. The king decides to support the village with gold.
Oh, with a wedding, okay. Monsters. Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night. Unseen, unheard. Until they arrived. They attacked the village. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your grace, I beg you. You must send your men. Check what happened. Find those responsible. Who are they? Bright, red heads. Short but sharp fangs. Hundreds of them. Gleaming metal for their claws. We've never seen anything like this. The general should deal with these bandits easily. Thank you, your grace. Icons indicate important matters to attend to. Green icons show optional conversations. Crack in the pavement. We need to get it patched up one day. Yes, father. What is the matter with you two? You and Lasulia used to be best friends. You mean why is Lasulia such a big baby? This is the kind of thing I mean. She's annoying. This old. Insulting your sister won't make the situation better. She would just get more resentful as time goes by. Ooh, but it's so hard. <sighs> I'm sorry, father. I won't do it again. Don't do anything silly, Asalia. Do I ever? Damn it, this is worse than I thought. Recent downpours have damaged a lot of buildings, Your Grace. While we still have space for prisoners, we should focus on buildings that need more attention. I've had a scribe write a list of things that need to be fixed. You will see this in your weekly summary, Your Grace. This sounds like it's going to be costly. Yes. All the gods, that could have been me. Your Grace, do you see what happened here? If I was in the other cell, I would have been crushed. This, this is a sign. The gods have forgiven my sins. I shall serve the mighty ones. I will dedicate my life to those in need. I mean, if I could get out of here, please. I am. Um, uh, I bumped into the innkeeper on the street and stepped on his toe. How dare you tell such falsehoods? He ordered a gallon of beer, drank it all by himself, and didn't even have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper. He was pretty upset. Oh yes, I think I remember. Your Grace, I have been enlightened. I won't ever do such a stupid thing again. I will serve a higher purpose now. Just maybe let me out. You've had enough. I hope you learned your lesson. You may leave. What? 
Really? The gods have truly chosen me. I will go and spread their wisdom. Thank you, Your Grace. Our paths will cross again. I can feel it. How can I help, Your Grace? Just looking around. Stay as long as you like, Your Grace. Very dark and moist. I would like to stay here for longer than a minute. I'd rather not go in there. What if more small walls collapse? Dungeons are a mess. Don't want to think what else is growing in here. It's quite pretty though. These barrels are empty. They used to store wine. This old piece of fabric is covering a hole on the roof. Generals and hunters sometimes come here to practice swordsmanship. fields used to be covered in forests. Our agriculture is thriving. The Grey Mountains. Lowly loves them. We're lucky to have such a beautiful landscape. Oh, it's you. Do you want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. I don't know. I'm fine, father. I can see something's wrong. Why won't you talk to me? Everything's fine. Don't you have things to do? So Sally has been pretty nasty recently. I don't know where your sister learned to be so rude. Hmm. Why didn't you want to play with us? You used to find the best spots, remember? Maybe I'm not five anymore. I'll see you later. I'll leave you to it. Sure. convinced me to have some plans here. Makes the place seem more friendly. Not sure if that's good or bad. Chandelier. This chandelier is so old and rusty. I hope it doesn't drop on my head. This is your weekly summary screen. Here you will be able to see a kingdom's weekly income and expenses can buy upgrades and fixes for the castle in the left section. To buy an upgrade, we we'll click on the button with the upgrade name.
Fixed pantry roof. Roof supplies penalty from treasury. Reno, week two. Your grace, no sign of the monsters. You did stumble upon these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. Redhead, sharp teeth. The crest of Radovia? Thought you could only find them in books and old manuscripts. Well, seems like we have one right here too. Tell me. Whose banner are you bearing? Is it true that you're from Radovia? Your man is right. Radovia is my hope. And soon yours too. Ha! <laughs> Why are you here? What were you and your man doing near the village? We're just making a living. One man might call a plunder. I would call it hard work. Who is your leader? Do you have a king? Or are you just a barbaric thief? We are free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. I've heard enough. Your grace, candle of barbarians to stock all lands. Plundering and killing innocent men? There is no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. Room into the dungeon. You will rot in a cell. Don't want to let me go, but you don't have the guts to kill. My friends will gladly hear about your cowardly decisions. Need to see Aurelia about this. What do you make of this, Audrey? Redovians? Here? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten the war? That's a lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm just puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends, see you could give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. Pigeons always bring so much mess into the throne room. I'm here representing Bank the Florentini, Your Grace. I hear that your treasury has been has seen better times. But I'm here to help. How does this all work again? We understand that sometimes it's hard to be a king, and we want to do our best to help. We offer quick and easy solutions to give you a search of gold or supplies, whichever you may be in need of. Exclusive package offers 50 gold or supplies, instantly available for your use. The bank only adds a small fee of 10 gold or supplies, depending on the type of loan. It's paid off in weekly amounts of 10 until you pay off your debt, your grace. Won't charge you any additional costs. Oh. Last thing to note. You only do one type of loan at a time. So if you want to borrow gold, we can't lend you supplies until the first loan is repaid. And vice versa. And remember, the first loan is free of charge. Just pay back what you take. That's it for
for now. That's all for now. The bank, the Florentini is always happy to help. I bring news, father. Asalia sneaked out at night last week. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber. All laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she'd been, but Sidani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me in the morning. Those two chit chat all the time. They think I don't realize. Take. Don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Ursulia? Solia sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden. Hearing that Asali was sneaking out of the castle worried the king, he decided it would be best to confront her about it, to confirm Lasurlia's story. Monsters attacked the village, we have sent a general to see if he can find anything. The monsters have turned out the bandits from Odovia, a place from which nothing good ever came. The Rodovian band was sent to the dungeon to await further interrogation. Divine intervention. On hearing the peasant's remorse over his actions, the king sires set him free. I'm wondering if comes any good from that. Your grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. Yes, a really daft little boy, but still, he is my son. I ask you to help us find him, your grace. Is there a chance you could do so? Our general will try to find your son. We will ask around and see if you can track your son down. I hope he is still in one piece. You have my thanks, your grace. Lord Eton. My name is Eton. I am the Lord of Branca, your grace will be as straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my daughter and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. The thing is, track them down and I know where they are keeping her. I've planned everything out, I just need your general to help me take her back. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I will need your help, your grace. I'm sorry, I can't help. My general's occupied and my gold is running low. I wish you the best of luck getting your daughter back. I wish you never find yourself in a similar situation. Keep your daughter safe, your grace. I will remember this. Your Grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What's going on? I think I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything right. I better be going. About a paranoid lord. He never gave any details. He left in a hurry. Ransom. Current situation the kingdom forced King Eric to decline helping Lord Eton. That will come back to us. Gay looks very old. Anyone with some strength could probably just barge through it. Oh, it's 
you. I will check on you later. Hmm. How can I help, Your Grace? Stay as long as you like, Your Grace. I don't think a king would come down to the dungeons and honor truly. Enough of the games. Tell me what you know. Why are you here? I suppose that's one way of killing time in this murky den. You see... Bayran, the lunatic thinks everyone will follow him. <laughs> Keeps revving about some promise. One of the seven kings will give him his daughter. He thinks he's got a chance at mingling with the royals. I still can't decide. Is he the mad one or is it his followers who believe this bunk? Who are really insane? It's on for now. You will stay here a while longer. Maybe you'll be useful. Sure, as long as I don't die from boredom first. Got a lot of storks here in Devon. They're very graceful birds. Really, I lost him yet. The Grey Mountains. They seem much bigger in real life than they are in this painting. This fireplace is full of ash. It's quite cozy here in the evenings, though. Damn, I look so tired. Or maybe I'm just old. Aurelia's dresser, where she gets ready for the day. I wish I could have a snooze right now. I have plenty to do though. Anna? Darling? Foreign barbarians visited us this week. The Duvians have come to Devon. One of the bandits was brought to the castle. Reduvians? That can't be right. Do you think it's about your... Our promise? I... I am afraid it is. The bandit is in the dungeon. I already questioned him. It cannot be, Eric. Well, he said so himself. How would he know? Thirteen years ago, he promised our unborn child's hand to a duck. Bayron, wasn't it? Does it matter? The 13 years the Redovian shows up in our castle. I'll be damned. Yes, Rosulia will soon become a woman. And we will need to find her a husband. And Byron, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. got into us. How could we have promised our daughter's hand to Redovian? With a knife to my throat. I'm not sure what else we could have done. To think of our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though. Can't let this happen, Eric. Don't worry. We will solve this. What about the witch? Do you remember the curse? Don't even want to think about this. Let's just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax and see how things with the duck turn out. For now, what are we going to do? If Byron ever shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. Just need to play stupid. Unless he shows up with an army. Don't be silly now. How could the 
commoner of foreign army, even we can't. How could Rodovians get to Davern? Anything seems possible at this stage. Did send the bandits to the dungeons? I already told you I did, Aurelia. Oh yes, yes. I'm sorry, darling. It's just too much to think about. How are you holding up? I... I don't know. It's so unreal. Marry a prince. A lord even. Yes. But let her marry a thug? We can't do this. It will be fine. I won't let them take her away. We'll see you later, Dolan. Eric? I am terrified. I can handle this. Fine. I will stay here. Yes, father. There was a wedding in the village. I've heard there was quite a fine wedding in the village just outside our walls. Considering the resources you've spent to help them out with it, it definitely was. I wish you'd came to ask me first. I'm not angry, I just want you to be safe. Why would you be mad? Is it because I went to the market? Come on now, I know about the wedding. Osuya told me what happened. How would she know anyway? Oh, of course. Sedani. Sedani. I'm worried about you. I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you. You have no need to worry. Nothing will happen. Do you know what's out there? What could have happened if someone found a princess by herself in a village? All the drunkards, thugs... Nothing happened, father. I was dressed differently. I was careful. I am not stupid. I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. Osulia said you got drunk. That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. How many times? Ugh, Osulia. Since she turned 13, she thinks you will make her marry some fat dumb prince and send her off to another castle. She intends to be such a lousy rat. Maybe it would be for the best. Is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It doesn't change the fact that she's just infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name calling. You are confined to the castle. No more playing games. No more shuttlecock, plush, cards, dice, or draws. What am I supposed to do inside those godforsaken walls? Ah, stupid Osulia. I'll teach her a lesson. Stop with the names. I'd better talk to Osulia. Salia told me what's going on. Asaya told me why you might be feeling a bit down recently. I think your mother and I had started to figure it out anyway. I'm sorry we didn't realize earlier. No, oh, why is that? I 
I won't have to marry a stranger. Tradition says a girl your age needs a husband, but I promise you won't have to marry a stranger. We will make sure we know the prince well before the wedding. Hmm, time will show. I will check on you later. Never allow her daughter to marry a thug. She hopes that the king will resolve the situation before it's too late. Sonia sneaking out of the castle without the king's permission floated his boundaries. The king decided to ban her from playing her favorite games. Or Sulia. After finding out why Lasulia is upset, the king assured her that she will not be rushed into marriage. Dovian fight. When a Redovian man showed up at Devon's castle, Eric immediately knew it was about the promise he and his wife made 13 years ago. Aurelia agreed with Eric's words. Bayran, the duck from Adovia, was after the king's oldest daughter, Ursulia. The Redovian bandit shed some more light on why the Redovians were in the tavern, but he may be of further use. Fix market stall, gains 2 gold per week. Greno, week 3. Pigeon, ooh. Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what was promised. But the gods have graced us with their strength. Byron, the king of Radovia. So they do have a king after all. And where there is a king, an army follows. What promise are they babbling about anyway? To take my daughter's hand. Wow, how? Never mentioned it, your grace. Didn't think I would have to keep my word. Can't let barbarians seize the throne. Our treasury is low, but we can always seek allies. I will let you get on with the audit, and I'll make some preparations in the meantime. I'll be in the council chamber, your grace. Your grace, injustice and hunger have struck our village. Men dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything left worth giving to the dogs now. Wanted to kindly ask for seven pieces of gold or five sacks of supplies. That way we can at least keep our children fed. Take these supplies. Pet your children well. That will be enough to keep us going for a couple of weeks. Gods favor you. Come with a business proposition, your grace. I need 12 gold to hire a man and buy resources to build a new tavern in Branca. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. 
The village is really well positioned. It has many visitors, but they never stay for long. New Terran will change that and will guarantee a steady income. I will share the profits once I start making money on the business. Please come back another time. I like the sound of this, but our treasury cannot afford the expense right now. Come back in a couple of weeks. Yes, your grace. Your grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's nothing serious, I don't think. But fevers and sneezes are all over the place. They appeared out of nowhere, as if a dark force brought it upon us. It's not serious, I'm sure it can wait. No one has ever died from just a little cold. Well, I suppose you're right. Maybe just the recent days were a little colder than usual. Hmm. Silly I saw you. Whatever. Nothing useful in here. Just a pile of rubbish. Car. Just books. Plenty of them. A side table of food is very useful for long meetings. Deer antlers. These antlers come from the biggest deer in Devon. Oh, really, I made these. This one shows a stork. It's our house emblem. Oh, really, I love to knit. She leaves balls of wool everywhere. Oh, I bought it on the market. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but it looks nice. Beerskin. This beerskin rug was a wedding gift. Must have been very expensive. Hey there. Pumpkin? Pumpkin? That's new. I like it. Your grace. Your grace. Shouldn't be playing here. Sedani, I always tell you not to play here. But this is my most cherished place in the cast fortress. Oh, you have most finest items here, father. Please, let me stay here. I won't break anything, I promise. Fine, you can stay. As long as you don't damage anything. Oh yes, thank you, Fa. Your grace. Woo, let's see what else is here. Your grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Meanwhile, we should invite King Talis. Might be able to help. Can talk to the nearby lords, but first I would suggest inviting Telus. Here you can view details each of your potential allies to have a pigeon available in order to send an invite. Three thousand, three thousand men. 
King Telus. Great. Telus should visit us within a week. His army should be able to repel Radovia. No matter what they come with. Thank you, Audrey. How can I be of service, Your Grace? Tell me about our battle preparations. What would you like to know about, Your Grace? Is our army ready to confront the enemy? Don't yet know what we're up against, but with our current army, we wouldn't, couldn't even defend against peasants with shovels. Svetovit himself would have to help us. Finding allies will be vital if we want to stand a chance. Let's change the subject. It's all for now. Week four. Your Grace, I have found the son of the peasant. He was lost in a nearby forest, looking for home. He was weakened and thirsty, but should be back to full strength soon enough. Thank the Lord. Hardly any light can get through these windows. These halls used to shine, Eric. Father! Look what she did. Salia has put feces under my pillow. How can I ever wash it off? Why did you tell her I told on her? Tell us, Salia, anything. I never told her you told me. Of course you did. Now she won't leave me alone. We'll deal with that later. Scuttle off for now. But, uh. You can't even control your children, and I'm surprised you still sit where you do. And that I'm still standing where I am. Forgive me. We have had a lot going on recently. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand like a commoner here. Oh, of course. Let's talk in the council room. Huh? You have a lot of books. What is she doing in here? Are you letting children play with your archives? Girl, be gone. Are you a king or a blasted nanny, Eric? What can be so important that you couldn't just send me a pigeon? I will be straightforward with this. I need an army. Redovia has threatened me and my family. Ha! <laughs> Redovia? Here? Yes, they... They're simple, man. Untrained. Tell you what. I will give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything they throw its way. What? Just like that? <laughs> of course not. You see, my son, Ivo, has been crying and moaning to me about finding him a princess. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife would keep him busy, out of my way. Rosalia would be good enough for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want access to the fine collection of books you have here. Plus anything else you can find. Still seek cures for your wife? Your condition hasn't improved. Well, that does not concern you. You get an army. I get Rosolia and access to these books. So an army for marriage in return. Yes, of course. 
to catch on quickly. I sent my armies right away. But we'll do it on my terms. Can't just let you take my daughter for a few hundred men. Come on now, Eric. We both know Darren has seen better times. When Redovia comes, who will protect your people? Your family? Are you going to order peasants to fight them with pitchforks? You will provide a general. To help with our people's needs. How about I just pay for one of yours? That's fine. I will send an army straight away, but I want immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me get lost in your books, then. I think I will start from this room. Fine. You can find me in the throne room if you need me. Let's see. What do we have here? Great. You have made a new ally. You can now try to make more allies by inviting other lords in the allies panel. Nice. When lords have news, a green icon appear by their names. Like this one next to Lady Ada. How's your wife? I haven't seen Paloma in years. Does the illness persist? Why are you so curious about her? Yes, she is still sick. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be here. But like I told you already, it's none of your business. What's going on in Atana? Did the Elias and Barovia resolve their wars yet? What were they fighting about again? Land? Witchcraft? I don't know and I don't care to find out. I have my own problems. Is everything alright in Hagos? I've always wanted to visit your beautiful town. Why don't you? Go and see for yourself what's it like. Better than this rat hole. Saibu, I'd like to know a little about your son before, you know? The marriage. What's there to say? Ivo has royal blood, and I pay enough for his masters to ensure that he's at least half as smart as I am. Can't you just leave me alone, Eric? I'm trying to focus here. Did you find anything yet? Those books of any use? Healing fever. How to prevent desynergy. Something about malaria. All of these are useless. Come in the throne room if you need me. Read as much as you like. Salia. Huh. Of course she's not here. Salia. Your Grace. How are you doing? You're a king, so why do you listen to the man in the council chamber, father? Well, he's a king too, you know. But you're a better king. He should listen to you. Yes, yes, keep your voice down, pumpkin. Grace. I'll be on my way. Keep up the good work, Stan. Yes, Your Grace.
Oh, it's you. There is something I need to tell you. We have no choice. You must marry Ivo, the Prince of Atana. It's... I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't I get a say in this? We need this marriage to secure an army that will defend us. A war is coming. So I'm going to be sacrificed. Did you even consider any other options? Did you even try to offer something other than your daughter? Well... I knew it. I knew the day I'm old enough, you would just sell me to the highest bidder. You've been waiting for this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I wish I was a common girl, living in a village, having nothing to worry about. Being able to marry the one I love, not some snub I've never met. Stupid wedding, stupid prince, you're stupid. So unreal, marry a prince, a lord even, yes, but let her marry a duck, we can't do this, it will be fine, I won't let them take her away, Rosulia is getting married, what, no, did Baron find us, we can't let him, Rosulia will marry Ivo, the prince of Atana, I made a treaty with Talos, marriage for army in return, no, we cannot let her marry a barbarian. Eric, you said you would find a way. Wait, Ivo? That's... That's good. It's great! Ivo's a prince after all, and if Losulia is married to Ivo, then Byron can't do anything. Tally's army might simply scare them away. Oh, this is fantastic news, Eric. Wonderful. Who's going to prepare the wedding? Guests? Menus? We need to decorate the throne room. We need to buy flowers and decorations. Oh, and we need a band too. I'll take care of that. We see how our treasury looks at the end of the week. Does Lucilia know yet? Yes. She didn't take it well. Oh, but what does she know? She wouldn't want to marry that barbaric Byron. Who knows what Redovians do with their wives? Wouldn't surprise me if they cut them up and eat them for dinner the next day. Give her time, she'll come around to their dear. How are you holding up? I'm well. I think I might actually sleep tonight. Hang on. No, everything's on my head. What shall we eat? Where will I get a dress? See you later, darling. I think things will turn out perfectly fine. Thank you, my dear. See, I told you. Get some rest now. Fine, I will stay here. Didn't think a king would come down to the dungeons. An honor truly. found out about the deal Eric made with Telus. She was over the moon. The wedding was sure to solve all of the problems. After Eric confronted Asali about sneaking out of the wedding, she decided to pull another prank on her sister. Rosulia ran to the throne room crying at a very inappropriate moment. The king had no choice but sent her away and continued talking to Telus. The king knew Rosulia wasn't going to be happy about the wedding, but he had no other choice if he wanted his family to survive. Ivo is the son of Talos, the royal prince of Atana. He is the future husband of Eric's daughter, Lusulia. The 
wedding of Lasulia and Ivan. A day on which the kings of Devon and Atana would sign a treaty and become allies. Talos has agreed to help Eric with the fight against the Redovians. But his conditions were tough. An army for the eldest daughter's hand. Letter arrived, which confirmed Eric's worries. Redovians seeking what was promised to them. Eric has invited Talos, the king of Atana, in hope of finding an ally. Later that night. It had better be something important at this ungodly hour. Your Grace, the Dovian forces have been spotted nearby. We should send our men to track them down. They've come for Lasulia. Eric, we must do something. Send the general to check this. Let Sand stand. We need to see what they're up to. Repair theater removes contentment penalty from treasury. Renault, week five. What have you learned? Redovians have formed stationary posts around our castle, your grace. Um, camps if you like. They're planning their next move. Destroying the posts should damage their ability to form strategies, your grace. Although we now have a prospect of an army, we shouldn't give them any advantage. Should take a look at the map, your grace. Send an agent to clear out these posts as soon as possible. Wait on my mark, General. I will instruct you where to strike. Yes, Your Grace. Dovian bandits have made camps around your castle. You need to send a general to eliminate the posts. To see the posts, open the map. We will be ready for the wedding in four weeks, Your Grace. The Redovian posts need to be eliminated by then. And we still need to provide for the people's needs. Striking the right balance between the two might be tough, if not impossible. The current resources we will need to prioritize. Send the general by selecting Redovian post. Exploring locations may result in gain of resources. In this case, we need to dispatch of the Redovian posts. Can send any agent to explore any location. Home of King Eric. Lady Ada. Your Grace, you called for me. I always forget how beautiful this castle is, Your Grace. Really should visit Greno more often. Nevertheless, Your Grace, I have a favor to ask of you. Thank you. 
What can I do for you? There is a nefarious thief going from lord to lord, pretending like he needs help. Convinced other nearby lords to give him gold, including me. He always says he's a merchant and his goods have been stolen. I'm sure he will visit you sooner or later. What do you want me to do? Let's say he does show up on my throne room. And I recognize him. All I ask of you is to imprison him. Don't want you to lose gold like I did. Once you have him in your dungeons, send a pigeon for me and I will deal with him. I will keep an eye out for him. If I find him, I will send for you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Maybe would we have just one holding cell. Your Grace, my son was found safe and sound. There are no words. Here's a little something. My wife has made a cake for you. A strawberry one, I think. Thank you, Your Grace. I come with a business proposition, Your Grace. I need 12 gold to hire a man and buy resources to build a new tavern in Branca. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned. It has many visitors, but they never stay for long. New tavern will change that and will guarantee a steady income. We'll share the profits once I start making money on the business. This sounds good. Take the gold and let the business grow. Oh, wonderful. You won't regret it, Your Grace. I will get right on with the work. Eight solid tables, 13 beds. We could make it cheaper shared chamber. Oh, it's going to work well. Boy. How can I help, Pumpkin? I'm worried about Lucilia, father. What will happen to her when she leaves? She promised me she'd take care of me, but now she's leaving. Why would she lie? And what happens to Dusty? What about Dusty? Are you more concerned about Lucilia or her cat, Sedani? Both, truly. It's Lucilia's cat. She would probably want to take Dusty to keep her company. But if she didn't leave, then Dusty wouldn't have to go as well. I don't want her to leave. Can you talk to her? It's not exactly Rosulia's choice. I'm sure she would prefer to stay. She would never leave you on purpose. Why does she do it then? If she would rather stay, she should. Can you talk to her? Convince her to stay. Of, of course, said Ani. I can try convincing her. But I don't think that will change a thing. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. I'd better check on Lusulia when there's time. Rama, Rama. Your Grace, they took our cattle. Monsters with steel came in the night and took everything. Sure, there's plenty of grass left now, but what's the good of it if there ain't cattle to graze on it? Can you help us, Your Grace? Let's you replace your kettle and get you something to eat for a while. It's so good. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Your Grace. Ten journal to explore. Service, Your Grace. Put this with the rest of my supplies.
Your Grace. How are you doing? No. You're a king. So why do you listen to the man in the castle, my father? Well, he's a king too, you know. But you're a better king. We should listen to you. Yes, yes. Keep your voice down, pumpkin. Yes, father. Swords? Please tell me you haven't had a skirmish with Losulia. <laughs> She's far too soft for that. She wouldn't stand a chance. Let me be the judge on that. Show me what you've got. Really? You will fight with a girl? Let's go. I don't really know how to. Since I can't play any games, I had to find something else to do. I just picked them up. Less talking, more fighting. Let's see what you could do. Just go easy on me, father. Ouch! Too slow. My turn. You've got quite an arm there, young lady. So tell me, Nasalia. What is going on with you two? Still holding grudges? She's locked herself up in her chamber. What a baby. You did leave. Feces on her bed. Don't pretend like this is the reason she won't come out. Is this what will happen to me one day too? You're not so rash now, are you? Where's the defiant Asalia gone? I'm joking. I will have... It will have to happen at some stage, though. Guess I didn't think of it before. This puts everything into a different perspective. I was angry at her for being so irritating, but now I'm angry at her that she's leaving me. I, I feel bad for her. But who will I vex now? Sedani is too young. It's not the same. I'm sure you will find a way to occupy your time. Guess we should end it here. I was just warming up. Do you think we could do this again one day? Sure. I'll find you when I have a while. I suppose that'll be never do. We hardly do anything anymore. Tell us what we'll tell you otherwise. Trust me. Father, I'm sorry. What I did to Lasulia wasn't fair. Don't apologize to me. I know. I feel like it's best to give her some time. I'll make it right though. Don't do anything silly, Nasalia. Do I ever? find anything yet? Boy. Those books of any use? Anti-symmetry. All of these are useless. Boy, that boy. We'd rather not go in there. What if more walls collapse? It's going. Do you need help with anything? I'm preparing some handmade decorations. I hope Lasulia likes them. I'm sure she will. They're lovely, my darling. The wedding is so soon, and there is so much to do. I think we're going to have roast duck and a Kalesian salad. 
don't know yet about the cake. I need to speak to Lasulia about it. I'll let you work on the preparations. If you need anything, I'll be in the throne room. How are you holding up? I'm well. I think I might actually sleep tonight. Hang on. No, everything's on my head. What shall we eat? Where will I get a dress? See you later, darling. visited the throne room, warning of a thief who pretends to be merchant. She described him as someone who doesn't stand out from the crowd, wearing a green shirt and a hat. The king assured her he would keep an eye out for him. My Redovian bandits are crawling through Devon. They have settled camps near the castle in order to put pressure on the king. He had no choice but to attack the enemy. Tavern business. King, eager at the chance to improve the health of the treasury, invested some gold into the tavern business. Salia's realization about why Lusulia had been upset lately made her worry about her own future. She assured her father she would apologize to her sister for calling her names. Sinan is worried about her older sister, although the king suspects it's more about Dustin. Those two grew up together, so it's no wonder Sinan is upset. Wedding preparations were going as planned. Aurelia was busy with preparing everything for the next couple of weeks. Buy flowers. Buy flowers, decorations for the wedding. Week six. Oh, bye. There's still time until the wedding. Should check out the Dovin posts when there's a chance, Your Grace. No sign of the Redovians at the east post, your grace. There was nothing left behind. Your grace, I think I know that they are after me. What are you talking about? Yesterday, when I went to bed, someone was in my room. They moved the candles. They left them on the window. Sill. I never leave my candles on the window sill. Your Grace. That guy's crazy. Your Grace, yet another village has been raided by Redovian forces. Should we aid them in their time of need? This could have great effect on our people's contentment, Your Grace. Can't allow Radovia to threaten our land.
Need to focus on what's important. Need to prepare for the final blow. Let's hope Verdovians don't strike again. Have you seen Lasulia, darling? Think she's still locked up in a chamber. She's refusing to come out. Think it's best to give her some time. Don't know what to do, darling. The wedding is so close. I wanted her to help me pick the flowers. But she won't talk to me. I suppose you're right, though. I will get back to the preparations. Of course, my sweetest. What do you have there, merchant? Your grace, I bring a mixture that I can cu that can cure illness. Works most of the time. Cures almost anything. You won't find anything better for five pieces of gold. I think I will pass. Pass on such fine product. But how can you know for sure that you won't need it soon? Ah oh well, I will peddle it elsewhere. General Send. Darling. How are the wedding preparations going? Big days in three weeks. Can't believe how fast the time flies. Osulia doesn't really want to get involved with the wedding preparations, so everything's on my head. She'd be less upset if she'd understood that this is the best option we have. Do you think we should tell her about the promise? No, Eric. How do you think she would react? She would hate us forever for promising her before she was even born. She can never find out about this. Hire a band. Your guests have to dance to something. Grano, week seven. We're getting close to the wedding. We need to make sure those Rodovian posts are not a threat to us, Your Grace. The North Post was crawling with the Dovian scum, Your Grace. We managed to dispatch most of them.
Your grace, the tavern you helped me to establish is up and running. It's doing so well that it's not just a stop between long trips, it's more of a destination on its own now. As promised, I will now start sharing my profits with you. A whole gold every week. That sounds fair, right? You must be joking. This is ridiculously low. I want three pieces of gold. I think this will be fair for both parties. Mm, I guess you're right, Your Grace. Three pieces of gold it is then. Uh, it wasn't worth a shot. What are you hiding there, pumpkin? You said I can't have a cat, so I got myself a different pet. I never said you can't have a cat, just not Losulia's one. It's a snail. I found him in the gardens, and I call him Smudge. That's an unusual pet, and an original name. He's nice, but he's not a cat. He's all slimy and sticky. Kind of gross. That's the best replacement I've found so far. Maybe if Lorsulia didn't have to leave, she could help me find something better. What if the cat stayed? Would you be happy if Lorsulia went alone? Well, then Dusty would miss Lorsulia. You said it yourself, so that's not an option. Either they both stay or they both go. I'm afraid they both have to go, in that case. So there's no way? No way. I think you would love it in the council chamber, father. When can I go back there? You mean the snail? What was it? Smeary? It's much! It's not that hard, father. He smudges, that's why. Yes, yes, smudge. I'm afraid you won't be able to go to council chamber for a while though. Can you tell us he's staying there until the wedding ceremony? Your Grace. Thanks to the new inn we've built, our workers are happier and work harder. We can now plow much faster. We still need to maintain the inn, but I wanted to bring you something extra for the help. We'll be contributing one gold every week to the kingdom. This is very generous. Thank you very much. Our people will appreciate this. Please visit us if you ever need any more help. Thank you, Your Grace. Your Grace, I have a small favor to ask of you. Teeny tiny. Would you happen to have any spare gold? She one piece of gold is all I ask for. That way, I will get myself some boo, um, booch. Yes, that's it. Some new booch, of course. I know this is rather unusual, but I would greatly appreciate the help. Shoot. What say you? New boots, you say? Fine. But it better be boots. Of course. What else? Thank you, your grace. Your grace, I've been robbed. I was on my way down to Haggis when a bunch of thugs threatened my life. If I did not give them all my goods. 
Now I'm left with nothing and nowhere to go. Is there any chance you could count on your support? Obvious risk in your profession. Should have known it could happen one day. Sure about these things, but you don't actually believe it could happen to you. Obvious risk. Bah. Perhaps you should make the road safer. Grace, my village has been raided by bandits. Let me guess, there's a monster on the banners. No, not at all. Locals, for sure, but they were armed. Our food supplies and cattle were stolen. We'd greatly appreciate your support. This is all I can afford. We have seven sacks of supplies. I hope this will compensate your losses. That should be more than enough. We are much obliged, Your Grace. Sounds like Rodovia has copycats of sorts. But the bandits can now get away with their crimes more easily. They know the blame will fall on the Rodovians and hope we won't look for them. Things will settle down after the wedding, I'm sure, Your Grace. General was sent to explore. Villagers reported men dressed in black stealing their stock. The king decided to show his generosity and gave the villagers supplies. Fever in the village. Serious illness has spread through the village. Fevers must not have been anything serious. Clearly, the peasants can deal with this themselves. General has found his son. His father must be well pleased. The peasant came back to thank the king personally. He gave Eric a strawberry cake his wife made. Dovian still cattle. King Eris says support the villagers with sacks of supplies. Dovia raided the village. He'll keep his army together for the time being. Merchant medicine. The traveling merchant was selling a cure all medicine. The king has refused what seemed like a good deal. New inn for the village. A peasant asked for gold to build a new inn for their village. The king decided to support the village with gold. After Eric helped to build a new inn for the village, the owner returned, generously offering to contribute one gold for the kingdom every week. Dovia has found another victim, a traveling merchant. They stole his goods and supplies, leaving him with nothing. King Eric didn't assist the merchant in this matter. He muttered something under his breath. Bandit attack. Bandits have attacked the village. We decided to give them supplies to help. Sedani's new pet, Smudge, is harmless and at least keeps her busy. The king thinks her love for these animals is adorable and has let her keep it. Drunk citizen visited asking for some gold for boots. The king decided to spare the fella some gold. Doubt we'll ever see him again. Tavern business. The king picked up on the potential scam and asked for a higher income of three pieces of gold a week. Paranoid Lord. The Lord visited King Eric again. This time he mentioned something about candles. Things are getting rather strange. A green shirt and a hat. Could be the guy. We don't know for sure.
Darling. How are the wedding preparations going? Has Lucilia spoke to you at all? She hasn't. I'm very worried about her. She hasn't eaten anything for the past few days. I hope she'll forgive us for this one day. Are you holding up? I'm oh, well. I think I might actually sleep tonight. fabrics by fabric decorations for the wedding Why? The queen wanted to see you your grace No sign of the Redovians at the West Post, Your Grace. We did find a hell of a mess, though. They left gold and supplies behind. Must have gone away in a hurry. The Redovian post's gone. I think we're ready for the wedding, Your Grace. Grace, I'm starting to think that perhaps you are involved. What am I saying? Why would I say this? Why would you tell someone you know that they know? I'd better leave. I can leave, right? I don't know. Father, Lucilia, you finally came out. Can you please come? and meet me at the wall when you get a chance. I wanted to talk to you. Bye. Of course, I will see you there. Your Grace, I came here to ask you for help. My father is very sick with fever. Help me, please. He is pale as a ghost and he shakes and sweats all the time. We have tried treating the fever with cold water and bowls of butter, onion and garlic. We have given him a concoction of wormwood and mint. He gets, we even tried letting the bad blood with leeches. I'm afraid he might not last another night. Your Grace, if we had a court witch available, she could handle these diseases. That's true. She should put word out that we are looking for one. As for your father, Try looking for a healer near the forests. I think a healer will be able to provide better help than I could. Don't you think I've tried that already? I wouldn't have come here otherwise. To hell with that crazy old witch from the forest is my best bet now. You, you know, but you're a better king. He should listen to you. 
Yes, yes. Keep your voice down, Hulk. Your Grace? Are you ready for the wedding? Yes, I just have one question I must ask, Your Grace. Yes? May Smudge come to the wedding too? Well, I guess. But you need to keep him very close to you, said Ani. I always keep him close, Your Grace. Fine, he can come. Don't forget to say goodbye to Lasulia. She's leaving right after the wedding. Yes, I also need to say goodbye to Dusty. It's going to be alright, Pumpkin. Yes, father. We're almost ready for the wedding. Looks like it's going to be quite a bouquet. Yeah, for you it will, not for Lasulia. Still can't believe she's leaving. Hopefully she can learn to be friends with Prince Ivo. Don't think she wants to. I know. I wish we had more time to find a prince. This is the way it has to be. Don't do anything silly, Asalia. Books of any use? Fever, how to be prevent symmetry, something about malaria. All these are useless. We're almost ready for the wedding. We've been preparing for this for weeks. We've booked the floors. I bought throne decorations. We'll have a live band. There was no need. I just wanted to be over and done with. Who cares about some stupid decorations? It's the bows that are important. I hate weddings. People forget what they are really about. Oh. Well, it's going to be quite a party either way. I'll see you there. Yes, very well. Preparations going. Everything's ready, apart from one last thing. Choosing a dress. I'll let you do the honors. This is a middle ground gown. Nothing special, but for 25 pieces of gold, you can't expect too much. So, what do you think? The puffy one, yes? I think this gown actually looks quite nice. Well, let me have a think. There's nothing to think about. The puffy one. Oh, look at this puffy, decorated piece of art. Isn't it beautiful? 50 gold is nothing for such elegance. What do you say then? This is the one, correct? This is expensive. This dress is nice, but... Oh, don't you worry about the cost. The bank said they will help us fund this dress, so it's almost free. How will that work exactly? Oh, I don't know. They will spread the cost or something. Don't worry about it. It won't cost us anything until the wedding is over. Let's see how the others compare. Uh, this is obviously not an option. I found it in a chest of my old clothes. It even smells. It won't cost a coin, but what could everyone think? So, the puffy one? Let's see the other dresses. Yes, look no further than right here. This is a middle ground go. The puffy one, yes. I think this ground actually looks quite nice. We can't afford it, darling. Uh, 
Ah, this is obviously not an option. I think we'll go with this one. What? Seriously, this is a joke. Oh, come on, darling. This one is not even white. I shouldn't have you let pick the dress. I will see you later, darling. Fine. You have the good work, Stan. Oof. What's that smell? Is that you, Dusty? Well, wasn't me. No, it's you. You wanted to see me? I'm sorry I shouted at you, father. I didn't mean it when I called you stupid. I just wish things were different. I just wish I'd spent the past couple of days being with you, not angry at you. I know, darling. I know. I, I love you, father. I love you too. I love you more than anything in this world, Lily. I know. You hate it when I call you that, but you're still my Lily. It's alright, Papa. I miss you calling me Lily. Your mother has prepared one hell of a wedding. Yes. I'd better get ready before she finds me. I'll see you at the party. Third visit. The Lord now suspects King Eric of conspiring against him. The king ignored the troubled man, as it seemed like he himself didn't know why he wanted Eric's attention. Even though Lursulia was resentful at first about the wedding, she came around and met her father to say her final goodbyes. was not happy about the king's choice of dress. Sick father. King Eric decided to attend to more important matters. 